Section 9.1, Translate Figures and Vectors. Recall we've talked about transformations before, and the transformation takes a figure and alters it. The alterations we've looked at have been reflections, rotations, translations, which just slide a figure, and dilations which enlarge or shrink a figure. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can do a brief recap of these. So reflections take a figure and reflect it across some line of symmetry. A rotation takes a figure and rotates it about a point. A translation takes a figure and slides it in some dis direction without twisting or turning it. And the dilation takes a figure and either shrinks or enlarges it. So with a dilation we get similar figures but they're not congruent. A right. couple of new vocab terms that you need are image and pre-image. When we transform or mess with figures in geometry, the new figure is called an image. So imagine taking a photo or painting a picture. It's called an image. You're trying to capture the original. The original figure is called a pre-image. It's the figure that leads to the image. For example, Let's take a look at some points on our Cartesian plane. Okay, let's say we had the point up here at 2, 4, point A. And we decide to slide point A down to this point of 5, 1. Then 5, 1 is the image of A. And because it's the image of A, we like to give it a similar name. So we name it A prime. And we indicate prime with an apostrophe after the A. If we really wanted to, we could even take an image of A prime. Let's say we went for another point down here. We have 3, negative 3, where this is the image of A prime, so we call it A double prime. And that makes A prime the pre-image of A double prime. Similarly, looking at A prime as the image of A, then A is the pre-image of A prime. 